Every player goes once in a while into the bunker, so don't be worried about that. With the right technique, it should never be difficult to get out of the bunker. The difficulty is to get close to the hole. The 8th green at the Emirates Club has many bunkers, so it's the best place to show you all kinds of shots from the bunker. Most people find the bunkers very difficult, but it's not really that way. One reason that the bunker doesn't have to be such a bad place is that we have a club, the sand wedge, especially designed to get us out. So, we have the sand wedge. The difference between this club and the rest is that this one has more loft, that will help you to get the ball up in the air, and also the sole is, is thicker and is round, that will give you a better chance to get throughout the sun. And also, the length of the shaft is shorter. Let me explain to you the whole setup. The reason because we must have the uh, cloud face open is because you will get a better release throughout the sun. All right? Then, the reason because we do this in the bunker is because we're looking for a solid stance because in the bunker it's very important to stay still. Then, the toll you must aim to the left because that will give you a better chance to go throughout the shot. Also, everything is aiming to the left or square because in the bunker you don't need to turn like you do in the normal shots, but you have to release everything to the left, right? Then, the weight on the left side is important because also that will make you stay still over the ball and also it will give you a better chance to take the club a little bit more straight up or pride. Okay, the hands must be in front because that will help you on the takeaway to open the club face which is fundamental in the bunker. Let's play the shot, but now, first of all, let me explain to you a couple more things. You have to think about how much you have to hit behind the ball. It will be about an inch or an inch and a half. And then you have to control the distance by the speed of the club uh, face. Now we have the feet, the knees, the hips and the shoulders everything all square but aiming to the left. That will make you swing across the line with the club face open is what we need. Then on the takeaway, we have to make sure that the club face is open on the top. That way. This is square, this is close. Make sure it's open. The tall of the, of the grip, it has to aim between the ball and the feet. And then on the downswing, the tall of the grip, it has to come to the central of the body and square with the ball, with the open club face right there. And then through, you have to release a little bit, but the right hand, it has to be open. That way, don't close the right hand because what happens is that if you do that, you will rotate the club. That means you will close the club face and you will get over spin. So make sure that throughout the swing, the secret is to keep open the club face all the time and you can do that only with the right hand under and then you release a little bit but under, always under and looking at the hole. All right? Let's play the shot and see what happens. Keep the club face open at the address and throughout the swing. Do not let your right hand roll over at the impact. Hit the sand behind the ball, aim left of the target and release throughout the ball. Make sure you have a firm stance and have your hands ahead of the ball and your weight on your left side at the dress. The speed of the club face will control how far the ball goes. And remember, let the sand wedge do the job for which it was designed. You don't have to swing too hard. The loft and the sole of the sand wedge will get the ball out for you. Let's talk about how much we have to hit behind the ball. 
I am going to draw a line about an inch and a half behind the ball. This is how much you have to hit behind. Of course, drawing the line is not, it's not correct because in the tournament it will, get, it will cost you two shots penalty, but for practice it's a good recommendation, okay? Then, you have to look at the ball. Also, you have to look behind the ball and also you have to hold the club above the sand and where you're supposed to hit. Not, not right at the ball, just behind, where we're supposed to hit, okay? And then to control the distance, we have to control the distance by the speed of the club face. Not, not hitting more behind or less sand. Just always take the same amount of sand, but control the distance with the club face, all right? Let's hit. One of the most difficult shots in golf is that 35-yard bunker shot. Now we have the sand wedge and the nine iron. I'm going to show you how to use those two clubs, all right? Let's start first with the sand wedge. Okay. To do that, we use the same fundamentals. The only thing is different is that instead of having the club face so much open, we make it the club face nearly a square. Then, instead of hitting the ball two inches behind, we try to hit the ball a little less, let's say one inch. And then we make a full swing with the same fundamentals. The club face should be square rather than open. And remember, with this shot, to hit perhaps only one inch behind the ball. Other than that, the shot is the same as before. Now, let me show you a different way. Maybe this way you find a little easier. Let's say we have a, a reasonable uh, good lie. All right, we can also use a normal chip and run like uh, we can do from the fairway. Everything is the same. All we have to do is look at the ball, stay still, throughout the swing, and just make a normal chip. Also, we can use the nine iron as a normal sandwich. All right, everything is the same, but we have to aim a little bit more to the left because with the 9-iron, we will spin the ball a little bit more across, left to the right. So that's why we have to aim more to the left. And then everything is the same. Cloud face open, the whole body open. We hit also behind. And then we hit a normal shot. This shot, I use it normally, for example, if the green is uphill and sometimes against the wind. Because with the sand wedge, you can always get too much spin. And with the chipping, it's always very difficult to adjust the distance. So either way, you choose the one you, you feel much more easy. Play every bunker shot the same basic way. To alter the length of the shot, just change the speed of the swing. Unfortunately, we not always get a good lie in the bunkers. So let's start with the difficult ones. Now we have a downhill lie. Okay. Everything is more or less about the same, except that you move the ball a little bit more to the right foot. Then you keep the weight a little bit more to the left side. Also the upper body, instead of being a little behind like a normal shot, you move it a little bit ahead also. Then you cut your wrist, you open the cloth face up, and then you go down, and also you have to remember that the body has to follow a little bit the shot. Don't stay behind, because what happens if you stay behind, you will hit too far behind the ball, or you will top it. So make sure you try to follow a little bit the ball with the body. Eh? Let's try and see what happens.
Play the ball of your right foot, keep your weight on your left side and allow your body to follow through with the shot. Don't forget, on this situation you will always get an extra over spin. So make sure where's the pen position and make sure also you pitch the ball way short, otherwise you will be long. Another common problem in the bunker is that uh, what we call a berry lie or a fry egg, whatever you prefer. Okay, let's talk about that. The stance is, a, is the same as a normal shot. The whole body is more or less the same, but the club face, instead of being open, it has to be a square. The reason for that is, is because the ball is deep and we have to go deep also. So, then, we have to take the club straight up in the air, we have to cut the wrist as much as we can, and then we have to go down and under the ball as much as we can. Also, we have to hit two inches behind, right? Then, make sure that throughout the swing you stay down, don't go up, because many people think that by going up, the ball will go up also. It's not that way, it's the opposite. You have to keep down as much as you can. Let's try. Address the ball with the club face square rather than open. The swing is an upright one, so make sure to cock your wrist and stay down throughout the impact. The club will get the ball up and out for you. And remember, from this kind of light, be aware of what happened. You always get the next roll. Another difficult shot in bunker is the one uphill. This is the one we have right here. Okay, basically, what we have to change is the weight. We've been talking before the down slope. Now we're talking about the up slope. Down slope, as I say before, is the weight is on the left side. On this case, is the opposite. The weight is on the on the right side because we in in the bunker we should always play with the low level, all right? So the weight it has to be on the right side. Then the club face also open. Everything is the same, but also we have to hit the ball a little bit extra because from here we will get the ball straight up in the air and it will land in, on the green just and will stop quickly. So make sure you hit a little extra speed on the club face and also make sure you carry the ball all the way into the pen because from here there's no way you will get the roll, all right? Let's try. Yeah, it's quite a good shot. Also remember, when you hit the ball, make sure you stay behind. Don't follow the shot too much, otherwise you will get too deep into the sand. Make sure you stay behind. For Seve in his early days, this is one of the shots he's almost too much practice playing. Right up the face, an awkward one. Just the sort you don't want. About 45 yards. And he gets it out very well indeed. Let me give you one tip. Many people hear that they have to open the club face and what happened from there, which is so square, they move the club face that way, but also they move the grip. That is not right. Make sure that when you open the club face from square to open, keep the, origi the original position on the grip, all right? Because what happens is if you go from there to open the club face and then you move the grip, at the impact, the grip will come to his original position. That means the club face, it will be square which is not good for the bunker shot. Be aware of that. 
Let's talk now about the ball below the feet. In this situation, the first thing we have to do is that we have to try to find a comfortable position. Now we have to wild the stance and grip the club at the very end. By doing that, it will be much easier to reach the ball. Otherwise, if we stay with a normal stance and a normal grip, it will be very difficult to reach the ball. So be aware of that. Then, because the, the lie, we have to aim a little bit to the left because the tendency is to push the ball a little bit to the right. So make sure of that too. All right, let's try. Let's talk now about the ball above the feet. It's very simple. It's just the opposite as the other one, the ball below the feet. All you have to do is that you have to choke the club shorter. You have to narrow your stance instead of too wild. And then you have to aim a little bit to the right because from this position, the tendency is to pull the ball to the left. So be aware of that. Easy. Let's have another look at that one from a different angle. And do you know what? It still doesn't go in. Sometimes you may find it better to use the pattern from the bunker. For example, if the leap of the bunker is low. If the leap is high or grassy, the ball will never get out. Also, the pattern is a good choice if the pen is on the very front part of the green, because using the sand wedge, we will not be able to stop the ball. When you're using the pattern in the bunker, you have to remember the sand is a little bit slower than the grass, so make sure you hit it a little harder. But on other occasions, when the pen is farther away, you may want to chip with the wedge, or even with the nine iron, to run the ball down to the flag. The technique is similar to chipping from the fairway, and the result can really be good. <laughs> Very simple. Well, definitely I want to see that one again. <laughs> <laughs>